Ah, yes. The old rubber oil pump belt on this 3 liter Duramax. How could we not touch on that? Because if you're not aware, traditionally an oil pump is chain driven, but GM decided to switch things up with this engine and it has a lot of people up in arms. A lot of stink has been made about this wet rubber oil pump belt. And I can sort of understand why, because if your oil pump or the oil pump belt fails, the oil pump is no longer going to be pumping oil into the engine. And it's only really a matter of seconds, if not minutes before the engine goes boom. I personally don't like it. I think it's rather light duty for a pickup truck. These engines have been out since 2019 with these wet oil pump belts, and there really hasn't been catastrophic consistent oil pump belt failures. It seems like they're holding up pretty decently. I think what really drives people crazy about them is where they're located and what you have to do to replace them. Once again, we got to get up under here because the oil pump belt is located at the rear of the engine. And in order to replace this oil pump belt, once again, this transmission has to be removed. So it makes it a rather large job for something that could have just easily been a normal chain driven oil pump and not have to worry about. So I understand why people don't like it. I don't necessarily think you should lose sleep over it if you own one of these engines. At least I wouldn't. 